bottom of the world where Prince Harry is expected to complete his difficult trek to the South Pole this morning. NBC special correspondent Ben Fogel is tracking the Prince's journey. Ben, good morning to you. Good morning, Savannah. Well, I've had confirmation that Prince Harry and the teams of injured soldiers from the US, the UK and the Commonwealth are within sight of their goal, and they're due to arrive imminently at the geographic South Pole. After almost two weeks battling polar blizzards and extreme temperatures as low as minus 43, these 12 war veterans led by Prince oh, Harry well. and actors Alexander Skarsgård and Dominic West are within reach of the South Pole this morning. And nothing will stop them, says Harry. We're in a half day on Friday and we're going to South Pole on Friday the 13th. Unlucky for some, lucky for us. It was a trek as dramatic as anything nature can throw at a bunch of intrepid adventurers. The expedition has been tough. Uh, the conditions have been absolutely terrible. You may have heard it's been one of the worst uh, seasons for storms. And these injured veterans had more than the trials of nature to overcome. When the skies cleared, the Antarctic landscape was rippled with ice waves two or three feet deep. It became an epic struggle. When you're uh, Ivan Castro and you're a blind American soldier trying to ski to the pole, uh, a three-foot icy drop is not something uh, that you can handle with as much ease uh, as some of the other guys. The American team leader, True Blood star Alexander Skarsgård, playing the role of team motivator for the exhausted veterans. It's a pretty big moment. It's pretty exciting. Halfway into the trek, organizers decided to abandon the race. Conditions were becoming a health concern. But the teams voted to continue the trek as friends rather than opponents. Wind's dropped now, which is quite nice. Hey, everyone's feeling a bit tired, but slowly getting into the rhythm. It takes, it only just got into the rhythm just now, it's almost finished. An achievement that will surprise many, but most of all, those who are doing it. Well, after battling those extreme conditions, Prince Harry will not only have grown a beard, but he will become the first royal ever to have walked to the geographic South Pole. Of course, his grandfather, the Duke of Edinburgh, and his aunt, Princess Anne, have both visited the continent, but Prince Harry wins the prize for doing it the hard way. Savannah. All right, Ben, are you growing a beard in solidarity with Harry? <laughs> So, it's a solidarity one. I'm trying to catch up with Matt as well. No, you're way ahead of me. Let me tell you right now. It's okay, Ben. You can go back to the bunker now. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Good ben. to see you. I should mention, actually, NBC's going to have a special on Prince Harry. It's early, uh, airing early next year. That's right. Meantime.